One Hundred Days of School by Trudy Harris, illustrated by Beth Griffiths Johnson. If you go to school for ninety-five days and then go five more days, what do you get? Smarter and smarter, and how cool! One hundred days of school. If ten tired children <sighs> all take off their shoes, what do you get? Lots of bare feet and, I suppose, one hundred toes. If you find a tiny bug with fifty legs on one side and fifty on the other, what do you get? One hundred legs and, yes, indeed, a centipede. If twenty children each drop five papers on the floor, what do you get? One hundred papers and I would guess an awful mess. If you eat ten salty peanuts every minute for ten minutes, what do you get? One hundred peanuts and. Big mistake: a tummy ache. If ninety-nine dots are on a clown's suit, what do you get? One hundred polka dots. Those on his clothes, plus one on his nose. If twenty-five bees fly out of a hive, then twenty-five more, and twenty-five more, and twenty-five more, what do you get? One hundred bees and no surprise, some exercise. If you put ten candles on a birthday cake and then add ninety more, what do you get? One hundred candles and with all those, a fire hose. If every day you save one penny for one hundred days, what do you get? One hundred pennies, or better still, one dollar bill. If you pick seventy-five blackberries and your mom picks twenty-five more, what do you get? One hundred berries and. Oh my blackberry pie! If a train goes by with ninety-nine cars and then one red caboose, what do you get? One hundred cars and my friend. The end. The end. Thank you for listening to me read. One hundred days of school.